right. I don't have my mic with me, so I'm going to talk a little bit louder than I usually do, but hopefully you'll still be able to hear me pretty good. I got the bathtub. I put my um, cleat over there in that holds this side of it up. So it doesn't tip no more. There'll be cleats around the bottom of this. So they go around the flooring as well. And then there's um, bolts on the inside. So that's where we're at there. I'm going to get spray foam insulation there. There's going to be the siding on the back. And that's the wires around right now for the tail lights and stop lights. There's one hanging down for the marker lights. So that'll be tomorrow. I put the, the very nice piece of, uh, it's a rounded, um, almost like a rounded corner table or something like that that it would be. But uh, this is now the countertop. And you see where the AC is going to be. I still have to finish around the AC window yet. Um, I got some more of these shorter screws. Um, I'll have to get some more longer ones too. But um, you can see the spray foam insulation here. I filled up a lot of that. Got to cover the rest of this. This is going to be that here for the TV and the entertainment system, which is here. Deep freezers here, already running. And then um, I've got some more spray foam insulation to do in these places, more walling to put on. These are 12 volt um, outlet, 12 volt bulbs, so I'm going to see if I can find those online or um, some place close by to replace those with because those bulbs are rotten. And then um, we had some um, spray paint that's meant for uh, this stove right here, high temperature stove paint. So she went, um, and you went around and sprayed all, all around this with the high temperature paint to help protect against um, anything happening, any of the carpet that was down there, anything like that. Um, it still has a metal shield between it, but it's better safe than sorry, especially when it comes to power. And now you can see everything's opened up. I've got to put the uh, fuel pump in tomorrow. And um, with this opened up and all the blower stuff coming out, I might actually put the fuel pump up in here and then run the fuel line out here so that the fuel pump's safe and protected and away from heat as well. Um, we took this off. I got two more speakers. The neighbor had two more speakers for me, so I put two more new speakers in as well. Um, took the dash off so that we could paint it, get rid of the brown color. We're going to clean all this up. It's going to be painted. Um, I think she wanted to do silver or something like that, so that's what it's going to be. And then I'm going to be able to clean up all the wires in here and all this stuff. And then hopefully run the new, um, uh, um, this is the new, uh, or, uh, this is a speedometer cable. So hopefully this one that I still have left here, it still rotates inside as is that one. I just don't think that one fits inside the gauge the right way. So we'll see. But just a lot of, just a lot of little cleanup work I have to do with the switches and stuff. Um, none of the AC stuff is needed anymore, so all the front vents that blew out, I don't need a moment. I'm going to be keeping the defroster ones, but I will be keeping the, um, the little grills for them, so it'll, it'll still look, look pretty good. So that's where we're at right now, just a little short video today. Um, tomorrow I have, uh, I have all the parts come in, the fuel sending in, all that stuff, fuel pump, electric fuel pump, all that, um, so I'll be putting it in that, all the marker lights, so, and I've got a bunch of errands to run tomorrow in the morning, so there's going to be a lot of stuff on tomorrow's video that I didn't get done today, so, um, whoa, I didn't even notice that, that's not even that still, that's crazy, so, I'll uh, see you guys tomorrow. So I got a lot of this, got a lot of the stuff today. Um, I haven't even started on the lights outside yet. I just had so much running in to do. It's eight o'clock time, but you can see. I'll show you from the top too, but down here, the new corrugated roof around the top. I'll get up there and I'll show you how we're doing that. So as you can see, I ran two by fours, pushed two two by fours across and screw them to the sides and then the nail a couple places and then we're just laying the corrugation over the top of the stuff i will be removing 
uh, fridge vent over there, but it is covering the rest of them. So we'll come all the way back to the back here with that. And then the idea, which I'm still going to do, but the idea to put a vinyl plank floor on there is a good idea. It's just that vinyl plank flooring isn't really built to get for that. So we'll have to figure that out. But that's where we're at for right now. So I'll finish what I can of the roof up and then we've got, I've got uh, lights and all kinds of stuff to do. So stop right there for right now. All right. I'm finishing up this episode here. I just see a spray more um, spray insulation in there. Let's fill this thing as much as I can up with spray insulation so that it um, fills every last piece of air and stuff that's around there and all that kind of stuff. So that's the important part. And then under here, I've installed the outlets. There's a GFC outlet under here because it's going to be near the water and it's going to control the water stuff. So that's what I want you to know there. And then got some little Tin Man color going on here from Wizard Oz right there. And that's going to be our. I'm sorry, it's a little dark. But I'll flash that on me. Um, so you can see a little bit there. So the brown color, we got that color. So that's the uh, episode eight for you. Eight is great. The roof's almost done. I'm three panels short. I didn't do the calculation right. So they were four foot wide panels or two and a half foot wide panels. So just because we got three more, but no big deal. That's where we're at today. Uh, that's where we're at now. You can see I replaced boxes and all those on the little stuff. We'll see you next time.